Hey guys, I'm Spikeosaurus, and today I'm going to show you the five wall types that you need to be using in your builds. These are them right here. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Hi guys and welcome. Now today, the five wall types that I'll be showing you all use the same technique, randomization and repetition. As you can see, I have five walls pre-made. We will put it. We will be putting one of each wall type up in front. Uh, these five walls depict, you know, just your average boring Minecraft, the front of your boring, boring house. Um, you can imagine that this would be like a box squared off like this, you know, just your average Minecraft house, blah blah blah. Just um, extend that and pretend this is the front of your house. Cool. The first wall type we will be doing is uh, a stone variant. Now, all since all these use the same technique. If you pay attention to this one carefully, you can use any uh, bricks that you want. But before you start building, to make it easier, you want to get a pallet set out. And I like to build um, with just sort of a maximum of nine block types, so I don't have to keep opening my inventory and looking around. It just saves me time. So if I just uh, simplify it down, I can get a nice detailed build with some depth, and um, it, it goes pretty quickly. We are ready to get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is cover the, the the boring old wood up with some stone and this just makes it so we have we have a general idea of our of the colors I'll be working with I ie you can see um, sort of it's gonna be all gray and that'll just give you a base to start from in terms of walls now if, if you um, if you haven't built your house house yet feel free to just start off your walls like this but if you already have your house and you're just trying to customize it a little bit I recommend just just throw, slap it in on top doesn't hurt it so the first thing I'm gonna do is get the entryway going and then we're gonna work out from there so go ahead and design your entryway and by that I mean I'm going to extend out two blocks and put down stairs and now you can you can do this however you want but I'm just gonna just some kind of um, detailed arch system over um, over my doorway but I also want it to be randomized so you as you can see I'm just kind of randomly clicking away here uh, getting some stuff in good that's a good start now I'm gonna extend it out and then just kind of play around see what see what you feel like or see what feels good and from there just kind of place stairs if you don't like it like let's say if I don't like that just just keep uh, breaking it and until you get something that you like, uh, I don't particularly like any of this yet. I'm just kind of kind of feeling the waters, and then once you get something that you you kind of like, like this, uh, I am I'm okay with this. So now I'm going to sort of repeat outwards, and what I mean by repeat is, see this pillar. We're going to copy this pillar, not exactly, just the shape, and we're going to randomize the blocks. So if you notice, I'm going to just put one here, one here. Um, you can't really randomize the stairs because you want this, want that to stay consistent. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I have um, the repetition is is this this um, this characteristic, and the randomization is the blocks that I put in it. So I'm going to extend that out now. Okay, so I have extended um, that repeating pattern out with the randomized blocks. Now I'm going to do the same thing in between with a little bit more variation. You'll see what I mean in a second. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay down some stairs, um, just to give it like just give it like it's curving up and that's kind of that's something that you guys will you'll see it, it makes it look pretty good and now I'm just gonna throw in random blocks that's remember it's kind of it's, sometimes it's hard to feel like you're randomizing things but you know just just as you practice you'll you'll get a feel for it um, and regular cool so we've got that done and notice how I did two there, and then one time I just decided to be like, okay, I want that to be a little more random. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side. Boom, see that's, this one has three, and we'll extend this one, and here. And uh, yeah, so I have, um, the repetition is the stairs on the bottom, and the randomness is um, if I place blocks there or not. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm gonna fill just a few more spaces in with, with uh, stone, not stone, with uh, just a fence post. Any any fence post is good. Now you can't really see it right now. Um, let me just go ahead and throw on uh, no shaders so you guys have an idea of what this looks like with no shaders on because a lot of you guys will be building this without any shaders. And there you go. Um, nothing too fancy. Let me go ahead and grab a half slab. See this is uh, a stone. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Um, now, nothing too crazy once again, this is just something, uh, a building style that you can throw on top of 
a pre-existing house and it's not too hard to convert um, over to this type of building thing. So there you go. Just a nice little a nice little facade for the front of your house and like see how I, I don't know if I didn't like that so I took that away took that um, got rid of that just just kind of play around and see how you like um, uh, just ran, randomize a little bit you know if you don't like something just cut it out like that and you just kind of you kind of learn what you like and don't like and see as I as I just mess around I kind of just come up with something that I think I think works and there you have it you have a, a a stone wall type. Now I'm gonna move on to wood, but um, if you, if that concept makes sense to you, you guys can basically just stop and go out and build on your own. But I'm gonna do it again with uh, wood, so you guys can get a get a feel for it. If you don't, if you're not quite grasping it yet. All right, so I have my palette um, chosen, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the same idea. I'm going to create a um, uh, the the entrance first, and then we'll just see how it goes from there. Um, see, I don't really like this. I think I want to go with a, a wood. Yeah, I like the way that looks pretty much. Something like that. Throw some stairs in. Entryway. How about, what if we had these sticking out like that? That looks kind of cool. And then, yeah, so as you... Ooh, maybe then we have something like this. Maybe that'll be up here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um... Sorry, I'm hitting the space button so much. But yeah, uh, just get get something that you like and just kind of work from it. If you don't like it, just modify it. As you can see, I'm just kind of messing around here, getting an idea of what I want. Um, uh, let, let's switch these. Yeah, uh, I, I like that. That's what we're going to do. So the repetition here is going to be uh, this, sh this shape. And I'm, I'm actually going to copy it um, pretty much exactly. Okay, so I've done the first repeating pattern. And I haven't really done any randomization yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, boom, there's the first one. And there we go. There's that. And then let's throw... Do I want that to do like that? Maybe, maybe sometimes I want that to happen. Uh, maybe just once. Yeah, okay, so I'm cool with that. Let us reset the time. And now we're gonna work on the second uh, repeating pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in, let's do something like this. Okay, so I've played around a little bit and I found a pattern that I like. It's uh, two orange blocks, uh, spruce, or two or acacia wood blocks, spruce, and a um, regular wood half slab. Now I'm going to um, play around with that a little bit and see until I get a little bit of randomization, nothing too crazy, and yeah. Okay, so I have come up with a little bit of a design that I like. I think it's not too crazy, but it gives that some depth and a variation in color. So that works for me, and I hope you guys um, try something similar to this building style. Now the next build, um, I'm, I'm going to do, th uh, let's see, I got three more walls set up. I'll do three more just just for fun so you guys can watch the uh, process work. But yeah, um, that's, that's the process, guys. Uh, now I'll just uh, zip through this and let you guys enjoy what I build. <laughs> Okay, so I have finished my sandstone version of this building style, and I think it turned out really good. I ended up not doing a, a first sheet of just sandstone because I thought I might enjoy just how uh, the wood looked in the background, and I think it I think it turned out really well for this one. So so yeah, um, as you can see, the repeating pattern that I keep using is sort of this this curving shape that has. Um, that has one extra block length on the top as opposed to the bottom in this case specifically but you can do it however you want but that is usually what i like but yeah it just gives it a, a nice depth as you can see just uh from a long ways away it looks like a very very nicely built place and it as you can see it did not take me too long to design this and really it's a lot of just randomly clicking and moving around so yeah we'll do let's see we got a stone wood sandstone 
let's try let's try a quartz one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, for this quartz one, I'm gonna pick two colors that I like a lot for the base. You guys can pick whatever colors you want. I'm gonna pick two variations of green. And now I am just kind of clicking randomly. It's gonna look kind of like a camouflage, but this this will look good with um, with any two colors you pick, honestly, because it's gonna be the backdrop for um, for the quartz. Okay, so we have our, our back plate um, done. Now let us throw up some pillars. All right, we have found a nice little repeat unit. Let us go ahead and repeat that. Okay, we have repeated it on the other side, oh, almost. Now here comes time for some randomization. Now, um, I'm going to replace that one, yeah, and maybe that one. Now over here, let's do this one and, and that one. All right. Um, yeah, let's do a little bit more randomization, maybe there and there. And over here, go the inside too. Cool, so we have that laid out. Now we're going to do our inside um, level repeat unit. The pattern I have chosen is just a stair block and two blocks on top, so you can see that green. Um, right now you can't really see it because of my the shader pack I'm using, but when I'm done, I will go into normal mode and you guys will be able to see what I mean by the colors uh, doing really well. All right, so as you can see, we have finished the quartz version of our of our styly, nice, awesome wall. And as you can see, uh, the colors just helped give it an extra an extra little kick uh, versus it just being all white. So yeah, I think that looks pretty damn cool for basically no effort whatsoever, just thrown on top of um, on top of your average boring house. Now the the thing about these ones is these are those three are all easily accessible um, in terms of block types. Quartz may be a little bit harder for you to go out and get. Um, you know, Nether being a little bit scarier. But you know, work with what you got. Okay, so I'm gonna do one last uh, consolation wall type, and at the end, you guys can try and guess what guess in the comments the theme that I'm using, and whoever wins. Uh, good job, good job to you. But yeah, I have a specific theme in mind. But yeah, um, I'll say good mind, goodbye now and let you guys uh, enjoy the music as this time lapse continues. This has been Spikeosaurus. See you guys next time.